let us be men year 2023 we are coming back bigger and stronger this year and we're also going to start out nice and strong with some goals something that we're all working on right now january 1st guys we want to help you become better this year just like we want to be better ourselves so we're going to go through some things that we feel are important when it comes to goals and different ways to help yourself improve so with every year everybody starts with a resolution right and in most cases it does not even stay consistent after the first week why because we're often only motivated the first couple of days and then we only rely on motivation but as you know motivation does not lead to success because motivation is only for a small period of time yeah so we're here for discipline guys we're here to do that thing every single day that'll make you just one percent better i don't care how small it is i don't care how big it is we're out here to reach our goals screw giving up screw that one week failure period or whatever the crap that is we aren't going for that this year and we want to help you guys follow our journey too we want you guys to be the best that you can be yeah so going along with that we're going to talk a little bit about goals and how you can with discipline be able to hit all of your your goals for the year and so we start with number one the, the problem i feel like in, in most goals right yeah is that we only think about the big picture Obviously, having a big goal is good to start off the year, right? But then you got to understand, with big goals, you'll feel that it's overwhelming, especially when you feel like you're not hitting it after the first month or the first two months, right? And you got to break it down into smaller pieces. You can have a big vision, but you got to break it down into smaller goals, something you can achieve weekly, monthly, or even daily. But you just got to break it down enough where you can be able to hit the small victories in order to be able to enjoy the big victory even better. Yeah, exactly. I totally believe that like you have to break it down you can't just be like all right i'm gonna go become a billionaire next month i mean who knows maybe i'll win the lottery some crap like that but that's just not gonna happen like you'll go out there you'll get disappointed you'll get sad then you give up and then you go even further back it's kind of like you take half a step forward and go like four steps backwards and you just make your life even harder because you just have to Man, it's just draining on you when you don't reach those goals. So I totally agree with Daryl. Like, you got to go just those few steps. You got to break it down every single aspect in order to reach that goal and to achieve that success. I also feel like with goals, sometimes you overload yourself. Sometimes you're like, shoot, I suck in this part of my life. I suck in this part of my life. I suck in this part of my life, too. And then you set, like, five massive goals. And then you accomplish zero. zero. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's so much better to focus on one or two things that are really big that year and accomplish those things. And then maybe for the other aspects that you want to improve, maybe set a little bit smaller goals that aren't as demanding, but still help you improve yourself. Yeah. Again, going along with that, my wife, so before the, the end of the year of last year, I remember writing goals I want to achieve this year. I remember my wife was telling me when she saw my list, she was like, what the freak? Like, why the freak there are so many goals? And I was like, well, there are different categories. But it goes along to what Landon said, it can be overwhelming in terms of like, you will be overwhelmed with the many goals you want to hit. And sometimes you're not even patient to hit it all in that one year. You want to do it fast. And obviously that's not going to be sustainable, right? And so going on what Landon said, see, when you start off with a goal, doesn't mean that you, can, you must have all the goals written down and then you must achieve all in a certain period of time. You could always change your goal. You can always add goals to your list. There is no rule saying that, or you can't add goals into like your list in like in the middle of the year. You can always set goals. Goals are meant to motivate you, always something to look forward to. It doesn't have to be a set thing. And going along what Landon said, it's about goals. It's all about that small victory. Because if you can't enjoy a small victory, how the heck are you going to enjoy a big victory if you're so overwhelmed? And, you know, with comes stress, comes all these things you might your life might be even a mess you know and so why risk that when you can focus on the small little goals to help you to lead has like stuff in leather to get the bigger goal yeah exactly i really like one thing that daryl said he said that it's okay to go back and change your goals it's okay to add things (laughs) so please remember that january 1st is not the only day that you think about goals that you set goals i like to go back to my goals every single month every week look at them every single day and see like, hey, maybe this one thing that I cared about last year 
doesn't matter to me anymore. <laughs> Maybe I get rid of that stupid goal and move on to something that's actually more important to me or would actually help me a little bit better. So it's okay to go back and rethink your goals and put together like a game plan that'll help yourself become the best that you can be. Like, absolutely. Like, go back, review your goals all the time. And then as you review them, you can also measure yourself and see how close you are to reaching them. Without our measurement, if you never feel like you're getting close to that goal, you're going to give up eventually. So as you review your goals, measure them and make sure that you're progressing toward them. Maybe if you aren't progressing toward a goal, cut that goal out. Start focusing on the things that matter to you the most. Yeah, I think adding a little bit of what Len said, I think evaluation is key in hitting your goals. Because I find that in most cases, we are often just constantly working, working, working. And, you know, with social media, we, you know, we are, there are also motivation videos where I talk about, oh, you got to work harder, work stronger, work smarter, and things like that. But I feel like we're missing a key importance about evaluation, right? You got to mm -hmm. evaluate of your efforts. Or, because, you know, working hard is good. But what if you're working in the wrong way? You know, you're working hard in different ways that's not effective. Because I'm sure Landon can agree, right? You yeah. can work hard. Like, for example, we're in the, working in the kitchen, right? You can work hard. But what if you can work effective, right? You can evaluate and be like, what if I can do this? Has faster, smart, in different way than just busting my butt out, like working this. But like, why does another effective way to hit that goal, right? Yeah. So evaluation is key to see your progress and how you can be able to make it effective. Working hard is good. Working smart is even better. But mixing both smart and hard is a game changer. Yeah, that's how you become better. One thing that I really like hearing. Or one thing that I look up to is I like athletes. I like seeing how they perform and everything like that. And the Olympics, we all see those athletes. They're the best of the best in the entire world. One thing that I heard the other week was on your best day, you're probably about the same as those Olympic athletes. Like your best day, you wake up early, you eat right, you train right, you do everything that you want to. You're probably just like those Olympic athletes. The only difference is those athletes – do it every single day for year over year over year over year whereas you might just have that good day once every maybe six months eight months maybe you're really good maybe once a week <laughs> but that's where we're falling short guys <laughs> like you need to be able to do it every single day and that's where we kind of loop all the way back to the beginning where you can't just overwhelm yourself it's all about discipline it's all about consistency you have to be able to find something that you can do every single day to improve yourself. And as you do that, you work hard. You work smart. You don't just work yourself to death. You want to be able to have enough energy to accomplish your goals, everything that you need. And adding on to that, um, you know, just to summarize everything we have said. Um, so President Nelson, so he is a prophet of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And he mentioned in his message for during New Year's about something about reaching goals, about creating goals. And he, this can be summarized into three different points. Number one is to be patient. Number two is to be persistent. And number three is to be prayerful. So if you're watching this, whatever religion that you believe in, we believe that number one is you got to be patient with yourself, right? Mm -hmm. When we talk about goals and everything, you got to first learn to be patient with yourself. And number two is persistent. You want to be talk about, like what Lennon was saying, it's about persistent. Obviously, days, there'll be days that you don't want to do it. But those days where when you continue to do it, you're persistent and you're patient in, along the journey, you can see not it may not be a, um, a success immediately, but you will see a change in yourself. And change leads to success, leads to joy because you are happy with yourself knowing that you are progressing. And number three is prayerful. Um, no matter what religion you believe in, you believe that when you involve with someone greater, the higher power, that it can add power to your effort to be able to see happiness joy or success in whatever whatever that you do yeah exactly so now that we've kind of gone through a diff some of the different points and perspectives that we have on our goals i'd kind of like to shift a little bit and talk about you setting your own personal goals so one thing that i like to think about is in our lives we have different aspects different sections of our lives i like to compartmentalize every single thing in my life so i have like a physical side or a physical goal that i want to reach i have financial goals that i want to reach i have educational goals that i want to reach because we're always learning out here then i also have like spiritual and relationship goals that i'm trying to reach so 
I have these four little categories. The categories may be different for you. Definitely just depends on whatever you feel is most important in your life. But these are the things that I look for in my life. And I see, all right, how can I be better physically? How can I improve myself? Maybe that's going to the gym more. Maybe that's eating right. It depends on you. It depends on whatever you're feeling. Or it's like relationship, spiritual. Maybe that means like, oh, you need to be nicer to your girlfriend, to your wife, to your spouse, whoever it is. Maybe that means that you need to go out and hang out with your buddies a little bit more or something. It all depends. So I like to compartmentalize the sections of your life and then review. Really take a good look at yourself in the mirror and be like, what do I need to improve? And then that is a good foundation for where you can set your goals at. Right, because with, when you categorize stuff, it helps you to be able to find what you could do better. Because I feel like if you mix everything up together, it's just harder to reach that goal. But if you were to categorize it, it's easier to know what to focus on. And it just gives you a variety of goals that you can achieve to be the better version of yourself. Like our goal is, you know, when we talk about let us be men. Men, we got to not just only be give, like working on our physical side to look jacked, right? <laughs> but you also got to be smart in financial-wise, relationship-wise. It's got to be an all-rounder. I feel like the best athlete is always an all-rounder, not yeah. just a uh, super gifted in this particular thing. But to be an all-rounder, I feel like it's a game-changer because... You can be put in anywhere and you'll be good at it. Same as being men. You, to be a man, it requires us to be, you know, in good shape. Uh, in good shape in terms of health-wise, the way we eat, um, managing our financial properly, managing our relationship properly, and also always willing to learn because I feel like learning is an everyday thing. And when we balance all those goals in all those categories, it may be different for you, but... When you have that category, it allows you to be an all-rounder that will help you to be not just a normal basic man, but helps you to be the best version of yourself, which is the whole goal of uh, this channel and this podcast is to help to be better men. Yeah, exactly. We want to be nice, well-rounded men. We want to be somebody that people can look up to and that we can look up to ourselves. We want to be good fathers to our children. We want to be the best that we can be. So... Another thing with the well-roundedness, I've been watching this show on Netflix called Last Chance You. They have some basketball teams, some football teams, things like that. All these crazy talented young men that are amazing at their sports, but they don't have that balance. Oftentimes, it's usually things with their social life or their outside life where they get into trouble doing just dumb stuff that they shouldn't be doing. Sometimes it's educational where they just aren't focusing in school. They don't care and they just end up failing everything and that balance gets thrown out of whack and then they get thrown into that last chance situation but in the real world there aren't a lot of last chances <laughs> sometimes if you're out of balance if you're out of whack that may be it you get cut you're right cut, away you're out yeah so definitely as you focus on your goals this year try and find that balance try and focus on like hey maybe i'm the most jack guy around but I don't spend any time reading books. I don't spend any time teaching myself or learning new skills. So maybe that's what you focus on this year. Maybe that's where you put your one big goal. And then everywhere else, you still have your little things where it's like, all right, still going to go to the gym, still going to go out with my wife, still going to go on dates, whatever it is. But maybe put your big goal on the part where you look and you see like, yeah, that's my biggest deficit. That's something that I need to improve really big this year. Mm -hmm. And so just to summarize everything we've been saying, I think most importantly for goals is you got to set those small little goals to help you to achieve the big one. Uh, balance is key. Like what Leonard is saying, you got to be balanced because you can't just be focused so much on physical goal that you're just missing out on all the other goals that you could work on to help you be an all-rounder. Yeah. And the other one is obviously getting goals in categories because I feel that like with categories comes, um, like I said, be an all-rounder and helps you to focus on those little things that will help you to be a better man intellectually financially physically yeah and then last thing that we want to finish up with when you set these goals one make sure you write them down otherwise i promise you you will forget them in a month <laughs> you'll be like what was i supposed to be doing nah you're done other thing after you write it down tell one or two people if you tell one or two people they will keep you accountable it doesn't matter who it is maybe it's your mom your dad your friend your wife whoever just tell one or two people but don't go out telling the world <laughs> You don't need everybody knowing what you're doing. Stay focused. Make sure that those people are there to help you. They're there to help you improve. 
And I promise you, they will push you to reach those goals, even on the days where you may not want to. Even on the days where it's a little bit too much to wake up at 5 a.m. go to the gym. Maybe your buddy keeps calling you nonstop. Guess what? You're going to go to that gym that day. <laughs> so, guys, these are ways that you can finish through on your goals. Gain that persistence. Gain that discipline. Write it down so that you see it. You can review it. And then have somebody there to push you along the way. And with that, we, as in the right of passage, we too have a goal in being able to be consistent, persistent with our podcast and to, to continue to put out content that will help you guys be better men. And that's our goal as a company, as a goal as a community, is we make a change. Not just you guys make a change, but us as well. Yeah. So guys, we're here for you. We're working on our goals too. If you guys need any help, reach out, comment down below. We'll answer you. We're here to read every single comment, anybody that asks. Guys, let's have a great year. 2023, let's be men. This is Daryl. This is Landon. Peace out. Peace.